Hey, we're going to make Mia's dog food today, and we're going to show everybody how to make it. Mia is a Westie, a purebred Westie. And I'm a rabbit. You're a rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> right now, we're going to show everybody how to make Mia's yeah. dog food. Mia. Because she's pretty hungry, and she's yeah, been waiting I gotta for it. Watch Are you show. hungry, Mia? Are you a good, good Mia, shake. I gotta watch you. Mia, shake. Good hey, shake. I'll have to give you a treat for that. Good girl, lay down. Oh, you can't lay down in the chair. Well, she knows how to lay down and sit and shake. I think that's about all she knows. <laughs> but I think that's really great. Yes, you're a good girl. Are you ready to eat some, some of your dog food? Okay. So, here's how I make her homemade dog food. Uh, we used to buy her dog food from the store, and I thought I was getting the best kind of dog food there was out there because I was trying to do, you know, like... Um, things that weren't harmful for her and Westies have sensitive skin and so I would get a uh, blue buffalo but she always seemed to be sick and she didn't want to eat it all the time so started making her own our own dog food and she loves it so, <laughs> you love it don't you <laughs> so here's what we use uh, I have a rice maker, which if you're going to make your own dog food, I highly recommend you get a rice maker because it makes it a lot easier. And I use jasmine rice, and I use uh, chunk light tuna and water. I use two cans. Uh, this is a big can of pumpkin. I only use half of it for the recipe, and I save the other half the next time I make the dog food. I've started getting the peas and carrots together. The carrots are a lot smaller and she seems to like it a lot better and then a whole can of green beans and with my rice maker I need to do two cups of rice which I've already put in one and I'll add for the second one and I've already added in three cups of water and this will be the fourth cup of water so for a rice maker it's two cups of rice and four cups of water so now I'm going to put this in here, press the button to start it, and then when it's done, we'll add the rest of it, and I'll show you. Just beat. It's done. Nice and hot. So I'm going to take this out of here, and I'll start showing you what I do next. Okay. I'll put each one of these in here and uh, after I open them I'll show you what I do okay I poured the water out in the sink from the peas and carrots and the green beans because I don't want all that water to go into her dog food I don't know if it's all completely there's probably salt and stuff in there um, I'm sure some people if they felt like taking time could cook this these two just kind of cook them down a little bit but Mia seems to not mind me just pouring it in so I just pour it straight into the hot uh, rice. <laughs> I couldn't open the lid all the way. <gasps> there. And then pour like half a can of tuna. I'm doing this with one hand, so bear with me. Just to give you kind of an idea, I'll do some of it and not try to do half here. Maybe a little bit more. And then for the tuna, I just pour, sorry for the blurriness, the entire thing, including all the juice. I'll get the rest of that in a minute. You know, if you have any ideas of something extra I should put in here, uh, yeah, just shoot me an idea in the comments. You know, I just did some research and I found, sorry, I'm shaking this. I found that, um, you know, I, saw, I looked at different recipes and this is what I came up with out of the different ones. This isn't one particular one. I just kind of 
went with this and she's been eating it for probably a year she eats it all the time she doesn't ever leave it like she used to I mean there are every once in a while there's times where she doesn't feel like eating for some reason but it's rare most of the time she she loves this never really gets sick of it and uh, it's healthy for her and I know what's in it and I use the tuna because uh, it's healthy for her skin like I said Westies have a lot of times have skin problems and she does she has she has skin issues at times so I have to be careful with her skin so next I'll show you how she acts when she eats it put it in a plate I don't measure it or anything I just kind of you know dip it in there and she loves it and I let it cool down just a little bit you know I don't want her to get burned Mia oh, look and you see how excited she is so she loves this she's always excited about it okay here we go here we go here we go you like it Mia yes I love it <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's very healthy and she loves her dog food. I think this lasts maybe three or four days. I put aluminum foil over the top and I put it in the refrigerator and I don't warm it back up but you can if you want. Take it out of the refrigerator, warm it up in a separate little pan, however much you want to give her. And, but she seems to do fine with it when it's cold too. <laughs> See, look, she's she's almost done already. I mean, she eats it fast. <laughs> oh, goodness. Look, she's done. So uh, she she likes it, and uh, we recommend this for your dogs, not just Westies. Um, so, have a good day. Bye-bye.